favorite things is to see my boyfriend just in his like boxer briefs. I know. Hey. <laughs> I know. You were I, I sometimes I'm just like staring at him and I don't say anything. I'm just like thinking all this shit. And sometimes you gotta remind yourself to let them know. Sometimes you're exactly. just like, mm-hmm, like you, appreciating. We, I think we as women live so in our heads so much. Like when I see my man just walking around in like his boxer briefs is getting ready to do something and I'm just like I want you. But yeah. I don't say it out loud. I know. You're just like, damn, you're sexy. Sometimes I'll just catch him peeing and I'm like, what's up? <laughs> I've know. never seen my man's pee. <laughs> that's that's a very that's a, person thing. Maybe that's a weird thing. But I'm just like, I don't know. I'm just always going to like watch it and pee. It's like, yeah, it's so manly. One, two, three. <laughs> Stand up, girl. <laughs> Did not break the microphone. Hey, what's up? I'm MJ. And I'm Bree. And we're just a couple of Vegas girls. Living the not so Vegas life. Yeah, but we're not regular Vegas girls. We're cool Vegas girls. Kinda. And this is the Keeping It Casual podcast. Where we talk about everything and nothing all at once. Let's do it. I like when you sang it out. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I love that stupid movie. <laughs> Hi. Good morning. What's up, yo? Leather jacket uh, oh, and all? Because oh, it's cold. <laughs> uh, got that holiday hangover. Oh, my God. For real. Uh, it is It is the new year. Woo! Welcome to the Better Sex in 2019 yeah. year. Remember, we challenged you. That's right. Uh, shout out to Alicia for bringing in all yeah. that sex positive open talk. Yeah. We, I learned we, stuff. I did too. And you know what? I feel like we need to have her on again because we like barely got into oh, any yeah. questions. I know. We had so much more. Well, that's why um, we are excited this year. We are having our first Keeping It Casual Live. Woo! It's going to be um, in spring, uh, hosted at Deja Vu. So we'll keep you posted on tickets and all that stuff. Yes. And, and if you rate and subscribe and give us a like on iTunes and review. give us a comment, <laughs> review, yes, you will be entered into possibly win your own pair of tickets in that's right and uh, if you don't have itunes um like i don't i'm an android person so i listen on spotify i like stitcher yeah um stuff like that um but just follow us on instagram because you can also get chances for those pop-up giveaways yeah we got these really cool keeping it casual hoodies. Yes, we do. They're nice um, and warm and toasty. They're they're dope. So um, our girl from Sassy Cassie Creations is making those. So thank you, Cassie. Thank you, Cassie. All right. Um, so-, so how did you 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 were texting me a little bit like you're like I've already crushed some of these sex challenges. I have. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um, so. You know how, I, uh, like, I've talked about my my app that or my cable balls that have the app with them. Yeah, okay. I wore them to Walmart and I was letting my boyfriend <laughs> control them. <laughs> he was watching me, like I was like doing my grocery shopping, doing my errands. Like he just watches you, like kind of walking. Is there like he a- watched as I was like clinching? I don't know, cagling. Oh my god! And when he felt that that was good enough. He would like put the little vibrator on. That's nuts. So as you're walking, you're au- automatically working those kegels. You just put oh, the yeah. kegel balls in you while put them you're in walking. And you, you know, you do your kegels and you're just bopping around Walmart. And... Alicia did warn, like maybe the first time, don't do it at Walmart because if they fall out. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, I'm an experienced <laughs> kegeler. <laughs> I've been doing this for years. <laughs> so yeah, we we did that. We have some other stuff up our sleeves that we want to do. Drop the name of that uh, that so it's kind of for partners oh, at Kegel Ball G Balls. G Balls. G Balls 2. Okay. All right. Yes, All right. And All right. there's an app for that. All right. Uh, yes. So um yeah, we have some other stuff that we're we we've already talked about that we're getting into. Oh, and, I love it. Yeah. As soon as we had Alicia in, I was just like we, I mean, we've always been very open about sexual desire and stuff mm-hmm. with each other, mm-hmm. but I was like, we got to talk. Yeah. And, it, you know, it, and he looked at me like, oh shit, what are you like? Am I trouble? Yeah. And I was like, tell me what you think about this. Yeah. And he was just like, oh, oh, this is the conversation yeah. we're having. Okay. <laughs> I think anybody's on board for that. But, yeah. um, and I think what it really inspired as far as like great sex in 2019 yeah. is like opening up a really conversation with your partner yes. and being more vocal about what you want even if you're out there dating and single and new with guys you know um there's a lot of pressure on guys to just expect oh he's just gonna know how to he's not gonna, he's gonna know exactly what i want no. like without being bossy and making them feel demeaned like there's a way to kind of say you know i really love it when if. i really love it if you you know when you do yeah. this or you know there's yeah. conversation oh there's so much conversation i can't even imagine oh 
that's one of the reasons why I tell my boyfriend we can't break up because I don't want to tr- like. <laughs> that's why nobody s- wants to break up. We don't want to retrain anybody. I don't want to retrain somebody <laughs> on how to have sex with me. Ah. Oh. Well, it's also you know it's very uncomfortable to just um that that's always like getting to know somebody's body. I think in the initial like there's always that initial like just ravaging each other, but mm-hmm. then when it gets into more of a routine of sex, you're like, how do we switch it up? Um, maybe there's something I want a little more of. Yeah. And they, you know, you kind of always go back to your old tricks. I mean, I'm married, so I I know this routine. I know <laughs> the stuff. And every once in a while, that's one thing um, the last podcast just got me, reminded me, like, we need to open this up. Like, I brought home a huge goodie bag to Chris, and yeah. I was like, babe, you wouldn't believe. Like, I saw Alicia, all this stuff, you yeah. know, but he didn't listen to the podcast. He wasn't in that room where we're talking all that sexual no. energy is going. So. Being on the same page to open that conversation does, you know, maybe a bottle of wine. Maybe yeah, I don't know. Right timing. Like being in that room last, you know, <laughs> when we were recording that. Um, holy shit! Like I was just ready to like go jump my boyfriend. <laughs> I know. I was like, ah, I want to go like stick it right up the. But no. <laughs> so I was just like, I'm just saying, no, but I, like same thing. I was just like, holy shit! Like, oh my god! Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And so like we were doing that G balls thing, and I was seeing him that afternoon. So. What we did is, like, we planned out this whole little scene where he was like, I don't even want you to, like, say hello to me. I want you to just attack me, basically. Oh, okay. And so I that's was what like, he wanted. Yeah, so he, like... He wanted rape fantasy. No, it wasn't, like, a rape <laughs> fantasy. It was more like, you're going to get on your knees immediately type of thing. Uh-huh. And it, oh my god it was hot i like pulled his belt off and like yeah you know loop it around the neck yes yeah girl i like but like we didn't say anything i like got in there and i was just like threw my shit on the ground and like ripped his belt off and looped it around his neck and made him kiss me yeah and i think that's kind of fun like leading up to that hot sex moment like let's talk about a little let's talk about a little fun plan you know i'm gonna go to the grocery store you're gonna uh work some kegel magic on me yeah and when I get home, I want you in the shower. I'm going to say, I'm coming home. You're in the shower. You get all nice. And then I'm going to attack you when you get out of the yeah. shower. Something. I don't know. There like, have been times with my boyfriend where I've been like, just leave the door unlocked and be in the bedroom. Yeah. Ready. Yeah. That's fun. Be <laughs> vacuuming in your, uh, in your, in, I have, I, Chris says like, he's fun. Like he doesn't wear like, you know, he wears the sexy Marky Mark. Yeah. Like all the Marky Mark boxer briefs, you oh. know? But he has some funny, like, like banana hammock ones. Uh-huh. Well, I can't say banana hammock because they cover the cheeks. Yeah. What do you call those? Just undies? I guess just undies. He was like, hey, babe, get in here. And he was like showing me these like funny ones. Of course, we got them from Alicia because she yeah. gives us all the cool shit. Yeah. Um, and I was, it was so funny and it was sexy. And I was like, whoa, I was like, go put those on, you know, like yeah. just fun stuff to like lighten the mood and, and bring that up. But um, one of my favorite things is to see my boyfriend just in his like boxer briefs i know i know just like hey <laughs> i know you were i i sometimes just like staring at him and i don't say anything i'm just like thinking all this shit and sometimes you gotta remind yourself to let them know sometimes you're exactly because like, mm-hmm, like you, appreciating I, I think we as women live so in our heads so much that we're just like like when i see my man just walking around and like his boxer briefs is getting ready to do something and i'm just like i want you but yeah Loud. I know you're just like damn you're sexy sometimes I'll just catch him peeing and I'm like what's up <laughs> I've know. never seen my man's pee <laughs> I don't <laughs> that's, that's I don't a know. very that's a, person thing maybe that's a weird thing but I'm just like I don't know I'm just always gonna like watch it and pee is like yeah it's so manly I don't know <laughs> just like standing there peeing it's very hot to me <laughs> But um, I'm not judging. I'm not no. judging. I'm just saying that is a married person thing, and I am definitely not there yet. Well, you can appreciate the manliness of your man standing there, pee, pull on the side of the road, just get out and just pee. And I'm like, yeah, look at him go. Look at that man. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do that. No, unless we get those um, like those things that like I, I don't know what they're called. I call them the sheenus. What? It's like this thing that you can like attach to your like that you just like kind of put on, and it makes you have like a a penis, basically so you can pee it's just oh. like a funnel that you put on yourself oh. so you can like pee outside that's weird i've never seen one of I those i saw it on wish <laughs> <laughs> okay we need a link to that in the show and it was it's like so in a banana weird. shape or something i'm gonna have to find it i don't know god i want one for a gag gift for christmas <laughs> like here you go next time you go on your road trip girl you just pull over and pee it's maybe all your birthday good. yeah thank you for my penis that's awesome <laughs> my my penis <laughs> another person 
was sexually woke and inspired by our podcast. Oh. And not only just that, but a good friend of ours, uh, we've talked about her on the podcast before. We talked about one time about how long has it been? Mm. And it's been a long time. Oh, not, not, not who I'm thinking of originally. No, one of my closer friends. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Yes. So she said it's been a long time. And she goes, you know, I heard the, uh, I heard the episode with you guys mm-hmm. she goes and it's just been so long that I'm just so uncomfortable to even talk about it or think about it and I feel out of the loop I feel sexually inexperienced she mm. goes but I've been watching porn on my phone I was oh. like oh yay good for you yeah girl. she's like I don't know just like I, I use like the you you porn or porn hub and I'm like you go girl I we was need like, to get some DVDs for her from Alicia I know well I I said get in my room because I have a big goodie bag for you she goes really so I let her pick out a bunch of lubes and a toy. I, I gifted her the hot pink rock star <gasps> vibrator because I have like I've got a bunch I, I mean I have a bunch of vibrators too but I yeah. swear by that yeah <laughs> but I do uh, Alicia gave me a very cool one um, last week so okay I, yeah oh yeah 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 I remember that, yeah. I was like my cup runneth over with vibrators I'm gonna gift this one to you because I have not used it and yeah. it is a badass one she's like oh my gosh like I had to kind of explain to her how to use it and stuff but I was like um I, she's like I really like that episode because you know I don't feel comfortable talking about sex, but just hearing you guys talking about it so freely, she goes, and all the butt stuff, like, I had no idea, yeah. you know, she goes, I don't know if I'm ready for that, but. I know, you gotta work your way up, especially if it's been a very long time for yeah. you, like, the first thing you want to do is, if you don't know how to make yourself orgasm, nobody yeah. else is going to, and if you don't find yourself sexually attractive, yeah. who is going to find you sexually attractive? Yeah, like, you gotta figure out what you like first, so yeah. toys, some lube, and I said, and I said, and if you're questioned, if you have questions about how to give an awesome blowjob. I was like, watch some gay guys uh, giving some blowjobs. That is true. That That's how gay I porn. Yeah. And watch them go to town. You'll see the ones that love it and the ones that are doing it for money. <laughs> no, it's true. That's how I learned how to do it. And my, my boyfriend tells me that I have perfected the blowjob quite often. Oh, snaps to you, sister. <sighs> you have to make a tutorial. <laughs> you know what's funny is I'm in a Facebook group. Um <laughs> It's basically just about being slutty, you know, and I fun. Love that. Not like, you know, whatever. Just sexually open and proud and whatever. Yeah. Anyway. That's very empowering. It is. We need to like stop putting sex on the bottom shelf. We need to talk about it. We'll yes. talk about anal in every single episode. Oh, that's a lot of anal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll slow it down. But right. we did address it. <laughs> yes. Um, so yeah, I, I, it was funny because there was one girl who was just like, I just fucking don't like to do it. I don't like this. And I was like, I love getting ahead. Yeah. I was like, I fucking love it. I was like, it is a power trip for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. I am very submissive, but that is the one time that I have all the power. I mean, does anybody love doing work? I mean, that's just what it is. Do you love eating your vegetables? It's good for you. And yeah. it's got so many great benefits. You have to learn to love it. You know what yeah. I mean? I don't oh, think yeah. you just like automatically are like, yeah, can we suck some cock? You know, it's no, just No, probably like, not. It, it take a long time to appreciate the power that that oh, brings yeah. in. Yeah, I feel like giving blowjobs used to be just, for me, feel like a task. Yeah. But- I don't know when or where it changed. Probably like my mid twenties. Probably the first time somebody looked at you and was like, "Damn, yeah, thank you." And you're like, "Oh, oh, yeah, thanks. I can get a lot of, I can get my way if I do yeah, this right." Probably. So. Um, so I don't know when it changed, but it did. Yeah. And looking, hey, it's been beneficial for me for a while. So yeah, so she she was just like, I don't even know what to do technique wise. So I was like, I'm gonna make you a video. Ah, <laughs> can I see it? Do you have a video? Yeah. Yeah, I'll oh. show you, but I'm not oh. going to show everybody. No, no, of course it's not. Like, like I, I use like a vibrator that I had that's like I've never used before. It was that's just a like. Great idea. Yeah. And I just was like, this is what you do. This is yeah. how you choke on a dick gracefully. Girlfriends, <laughs> uh, hook your friends up, you know, yeah. let them know. I may have to have you show that to my friend that well, needs some yeah. help. Yeah. She, she could really benefit. Honestly, we could just, you know, have a, have a day. Yeah. Where, I, where we take some dildos and have a blowjob tutorial class i love that see i think we should issue a sex challenge in every episode this oh. year okay so today's sex challenge okay. is either give your partner a good blowjob yes uh or watch some gay porn to learn better blowjob techniques yes and if gay porn makes you uncomfortable uh watch yeah. some girls give it some blowjobs those girls yeah. know what's up too exactly that's probably how i learned well i mean yeah. i learned blowjobs from porn that's, I, that's how I learned. I had a, a special friend in, in uh, high school give me the lowdown on a trick, and um, yeah, it worked. Like a like What's a the trick. 
Uh, it was. <laughs> is it the relax your throat <laughs> trick? Because that's my favorite. It was the more of like. Um, when they say like blowing or like you know like mm-hmm. sucking it she's like you know you just have to be all over it and you have to make sure oh, that yeah. you're taking care of the use- balls too i was like oh you gotta use those too. <laughs> yeah mouth hands whatever just be yeah. all over it like my i've been in contact with uh with with bigger ones that i can't put all the way in my mouth so you got to put the hand there <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i mean you uh uh, you know, I can't talk too much about my past sex life. I'm married. I got to respect my husband in that way. And I can't talk about too much of art, but I will give you what I can. You exactly. Know? And, and, you know, I understand that, too, because it's like now I'm in a relationship. I can't like this podcast is going downhill. Oh, Send us all your shit. sex stories. <laughs> <laughs> We're, we made it official now. I can't just be like, look at me. I'm wild and crazy. And like. <laughs> Whatever. We're so- just we're just fucking around. Now it's like we're saying I love you to each other and shit. Oh god. <laughs> now all the drama. Um but fucking drama. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, real quick, let's keep this uh sex positive. We want to make sure that so this sex challenges do something very giving for your partner. If yes. you're if you're the person that is just mostly like I'm just going to lay here and take it, um take a little charge. Uh give some good head. Whether yeah. you're a guy or a girl, yeah, it's time for you to take take charge and give some head and do it differently. Yeah, do something. And honestly, men do not watch how to go down on a girl from heterosexual porn. Ugh, right? Because it's always like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, go to the go to the good lesbian porn. But yeah, but they watch, will let you know. Watch like feminist lesbian porn, and you'll really know how to go down on a girl. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, because that- <laughs> like, there's a lot of les- how do you search that? Just feminist Leslie lesbian porn? Yeah, Leslie porn. Yeah, les- <laughs> feminist lesbian porn. Just just figure that out because there's a lot of a lot. Most porn is made for straight men. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I dated a porn star. I can talk about this. He okay. he, he gave me the lowdown on the porn industry. Uh-huh. Most porn is made for straight men. Yeah. Um, and even lesbian porn, it's always like waiting for the dick to arrive. So mm-hmm. don't don't watch that shit. Yeah. Watch something else and you will learn how to please a lady. I will say something, though. Uh, just slow down a bit and don't be so aggressive. Oh, God. You're giving head. Like, not for a woman. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, and depending on the woman, like give it a little nibble, give it a little yeah, <laughs> yeah, like eat that pie, okay? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like nice and slowly, and take your time in the build up to insert just, a, insert a finger or two, yeah. pop up to the G spot. That's right. If you just go in like really hard and fast and expect that to work, it's not. It got to no. work up to it. And honestly, as lame as it sounds, the alphabet trick really does work. Yeah, yeah. Do, do your ABCs on the, with the tongue. Sing it in your head, too. Uh, use some lips. Use And it's not all tongue and fingers. Use nope. your lips. Use, use your lips. The, yeah. And you know what? Don't just go straight for the clit. Like, kiss yeah. her thighs a little bit. Oh, lick there you the, go. Lick up the slit of her vagina. Uh-huh. Tease it a little bit and then go for it. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. See? See, we see what Alicia did. She just woke up this conversation <laughs> big time. But yeah, uh, let's do little sex challenges just to keep the positivity going, keeping sex on your mind, keep the conversation open. Um, but yeah, do something uh, for them and a little different. Yes. Sex challenge this week. Easy, right? I'm on it. Yeah. And it has, has to do a lot with head. Um, so anyways, what else has been going on? Hey, what's up? It's MJ. And Bree. Guess what? We're doing a Keeping It Casual swag giveaway. The last Wednesday of every month. And we're also getting you into the very first Keeping It Casual live this spring. <laughs> All you have to do is go to iTunes, subscribe, rate, and review, or follow us on Instagram. Also, put us into your Instagram stories and let us know that you're listening. That way you can be entered into some of our pop-up giveaways. We look forward to hearing from you. Woohoo! I, you know, I saw Metallica since, I, since we last spoke. I know we were supposed to record yesterday and we both came in like, I, <laughs> it's always one or the other. Like, I'm like early and on time and Bree's like, what are we doing? Like, I, I was a mess yesterday. I'm I put my lipstick lie. on my eyebrows. I can't get it together. I could not get it together <laughs> yesterday. And everybody needed something from me yesterday, too. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody was like, we're going to do this. And I was just like, oh, no. All right, wait, take it back to Metallica, though. But, well, okay, yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Fucking Metallica in I, Vegas. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, so I'm not the world's biggest Metallica fan. I'm like, yeah. they're they cool, but yeah. I'm not like Same. running to buy their concert tickets or anything. But you went with a monster fan, which is always fun. Exactly. I went with a monster fan. She texted me at like 10 o'clock <laughs> in the morning. Yeah. She was like, what are you doing tonight? And I was like, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> 
because I was like, I was off work. It was a Monday. Yeah. And I was off work and I was just like. And fuck you, Metallica, for coming on a Monday. Anyways. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyways, it was a Monday and she was like, uh, you want to go to Metallica tonight? And I was like, well, I'm not that. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan. So but if you yeah. have somebody else that you want to go with, she's like, no, I want to go with you. And I was like, then fuck yeah, let's go. You have to Metallica. When somebody invites you to Metallica, yeah. it's kind of like a, it's And, a and must. that's not like a once in a lifetime opportunity for exactly. me. You know what I mean? We had... <laughs> Great seats. I am. I'm just too old to be in the fucking general admission anymore. I'm starting to feel like yeah, we're too spoiled. We are. That's what it is. <laughs> Life is beautiful. Ruined long. it for me. I don't want to stand at concerts anymore. I know. <laughs> I need to sit down. But you know, what? actually, at U2, that was standing room only, and I had a good time. But that might have been because it was mine and my boyfriend's first date, and I he know. was all over me. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I honestly can't tell you much about the concert because I was more focused on the fact that I was like, oh, there's this hot guy who's got his fucking like. Yeah, mouth on my neck right now. Your energy <laughs> kept you uh, standing and just ignoring all the numbness that comes with standing at concerts. Exactly. Yeah. So anyway, so um, yeah, we had great seats. I mean, it was it's metallic, so it was loud as fuck. Like the next day, I was like, "Can I? He- am I going to be able to hear? Like, can, oh. can I do this?" It was so good. They, they did a, like a twenty song set. They did every song you wanted to hear. Um, Any song that stood out. I I would have like where's your crown king nothing uh, you know what <laughs> I think my favorite when they did one it one. was just like ah I, I, fuel was fucking like the, the energy in the whole oh yeah because it was a sold it was a sold give out me show fuel, at give T- me five, give me da, 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 da. yeah it was a sold out show at T Mobile so oh, I mean God. you think about all the energy that they're bringing into this so like, fuel was a big standout one definitely oh, yeah. there was so much energy in the entire sold out arena I was just like ah. This is fucking awesome. I, I think when I when I was like six years old, I remember my little best friend down the street, she had like two older brothers and one of them would play guitar and he would play one on oh. the guitar. So that was the first time I had heard it. And I was just like, I love your brother and I'm like, he's probably like 12. He's like, get out of my room. We're just like six. <laughs> get We're out like, of my room, I was like, can you play your song? And he'd be like, okay. <laughs> like he <laughs> always, he yeah. hated us, but until we let him play his guitar. Yeah. But, and then I remember hearing the real Metallica song one. I was like, that's not what, like, I don't like this one. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like the way he played it, but that is a song that always, yeah. oh, oh. Uh, but we did see Blink One Eighty Two uh, the other week shit. too. Yes, we did. And Matt <sighs> Skiba, hello. What's up, Matt Skiba? If all, you... all of them. I kept being. I was like, Bree, Bree, look at, look at Mark. I was so stoned. He's... I was so stoned, and yeah. I was so paranoid from that pot. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> The entire audience knows I'm high. Now you can bring like the pens. You can't like bring a big joint in there. You'll no, but you can bring out. the pens. And I just kept like, I knew I was too stoned to keep hitting it, but I kept hitting it. <laughs> and I, I, somewhere in my mind, I thought Blink-182 was mad at me for being this stoned. <laughs> I was just like l- lusting after all. I'm like, oh my God, look at this. It's Travis Barker solo. He took his shirt off and oh, he's just going crazy. Travis, I've been in love with Travis Barker since I was 10 years old. <gasps> I was but like, Mark. Mark Hoppus is so fucking hot. And that's he's goofy and yeah. silly too. Too. Yeah, and Matt Skiba. He's tall. Hello. He fills out them tight jeans, them skinny jeans. Well, we all know I love tall men, so. Good God. Blink-182. Oh, it was so fucking good. Fucking rocked it. They did. <laughs> it I, was I, hot. I mean, I, I wish I wouldn't have been so... I wish I would have been more in my mind. Yeah. Of, we saw boobies that night, though. Oh, God. It was such a 90s show. There yeah. was a mosh pit. There was um. I like when they like started throwing out all like the pool floaties. And yeah, it was, they like, were throwing sex out like, dolls. sex dolls and pool floaties <laughs> and making the, like the audience was making the sex dolls have sex with each other. Yeah, and... they were like in the it was just hilarious. And, and then, yeah, the girl got on the guy's got shoulders. got on the guy's shoulders and threw her bra on stage and we got to see her boobies and they were very nice yeah brie was like boobies i was like yes we are so in a concert right now she had really nice tits too that's what you do it i was like damn and then they kicked her out and i was pissed i was like oh i lost the boobies i know we're like boo (laughs) let the tits stay i mean i understand like mark hoppus is married and has kids i don't think travis is no travis is not married and i don't think matt skiba is married either they appreciate the rock starness of their show like there's guys getting crowd surfed to the front the bouncers were getting pissed off and they're throwing them out they were like the last time i saw a show where somebody was throwing their bra i know and this was at the pearl (laughs) it was at the pearl at the bomb so things don't get too wild in there but no it was fucking great it was it was so much fun thank you blink 182 god thank you uh and shout out to pr plus for getting us in there man hell yeah hooking us up all year long uh, let's see what else did we oh I had a fun little party I had, I had a few friends over yeah. some friends from work some friends you know just pop a, a bottle of wine co- yeah, or some seven cool people in town you were in California yeah. but um, there was an unexpected connection you oh. know how when you invite people to 
and then like people kind of form their own bonds and friendships. Yeah. Well, a very, very cool single friend of ours, dude, and a very, very fabulous, gorgeous single lady of yes. ours. And um, I know they both have kids about the same age, too. Oh, that's so awesome. He was there and she had her kids. He didn't. But um, he just immediately like was very cool and like and drawn to it because of the kids. Yeah. Yeah. And just kind of getting along so well. And they were just like pop, pop, pop. And I'm like, look at this happening. So I can't like I didn't want to make either of them uncomfortable. Like, oh, so would you think it's so and so, you know, but I did notice a little connection and I'm going to see how this grows and keep you updated uh, yes i like this because you know what's funny is i he he told me which is funny because the girl that we're talking about uh-huh. looks very similar to my friend uh-huh and he told me one day because she was in here doing something she uh-huh. was dropping something off to me natalie yes okay and okay. he was like she's cute and they look very similar I so know. he clearly has a type okay well then i like this yes. i like this for him yeah he, he he's like she's really cute and she said that like it, it, for some reason, they were both talking about like cuddling, and I was like, "Oh well, maybe you guys should cuddle each other." And they both were like, <laughs> "What the fuck? You just made this very uncomfortable, and now we don't want to talk anymore." Yeah, and I love that because I like making people uncomfortable yeah. and doing weird shit like yeah. that. You know what's funny though is um, the guy in question is friends with my boyfriend. Oh yes, that's right. Yes. That's right. Yeah, or they, they know each other. I don't know how good of friends they are. You gonna tell him? Yeah, tell me, tell me. Tell me. <laughs> oh yeah, no, we were like, we were t- like one day we were. Um, is talking it, about him guy and guy guy in question uh-huh. and he was like my boyfriend was like i would love to like see him hit on a girl and see how smooth he is and i was like yeah me too and i was like but this is what i did and he was like you did that and i was like yeah i did and he started laughing he was like whatever makes you happy dude you don't even know how you don't even know he, like he's he's a smooth criminal and mm. um he I don't know. I really would like to see that go somewhere, but I know I would too. I think the most uncomfortable thing you can do to people is like force it on them, forcibly hook them up. Like, hey, I'm going to make you meet this person and this person's oh, awkward. I know. It happens so um, uh, organic. Unnatur- yeah, it has to happen naturally. I-, I think you know, with the last guy I dated before. No, I mean, I guess I can't even say the last guy I dated. Um, you you will know who I'm talking about. Uh huh. The one who I only went on a few dates with. Yes. His sister kind of set us up, and it was kind of a weird blind date situation. And yeah. It was kind of forced. It was. It felt very forced. And then everything after that, I forced. Mm. Like, oh, well, maybe I'll like him more than how yeah. I feel eventually. And then it just never worked out, and it fucking imploded. Yeah. So. I yeah, mean, so I'm just going to back it off. Yeah. I'm not going to ask either of them. In, like, oh, would you? Because she sent me a picture. She's like, oh, we were playing with filters on Snapchat. Look at this picture of us. Oh, and cute. sent me a picture of them. And I'm like, fuck, they look good together, too. And I was like, okay, I'm not. Gonna, yes, like, oh. yes. They're both such attractive people. And cool. And cool. And, and single. she is just, she is amazing. <sighs> We're crossing our fingers for this relationship to flourish this yes, year. We are. <laughs> we'll keep you posted. Better sex in 2019, both of you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. What else is going on? Oh, I went to California. Oh, yeah. Me too. What did you do? Um, I just hung out with my family. Okay. I haven't seen my like uh my little the little ones in my family and forever Aww. and my cousin jessica her son I, I mean i know she had him young but he's fucking 19 years old oh, now God. and has a girlfriend and he told me he's like i'm gonna marry that girl and oh. i was like I, when he told me that and i was like because he's like perpetually like six years old in my mind you know <laughs> yeah even though i see that he's 19 and i was like aren't you like 12 and he's like i'm 19 years old he's like i graduated and i was like He's like, you sent me a graduation card. And I was like, no, I didn't. I know. This happens when you get in your 30s. <laughs> like, everybody starts to, like, get married. You're like, what the fuck? You are you were 10. <laughs> you're were you just 10 yesterday? What happened to you? It's crazy how, how boys, I feel like, in high school, when they have that high school sweetheart, I feel like they're more, like, ready to get married. And well, women are see, not. They Happened d- to me. They, they went happened to high to school. Nudia. To, that's true. They went to high school together. They didn't know each other in high school, and uh. then they matched on Tinder. Really? That's cool. I know. Huh. And now he's like, I'm going to marry her. And I was like, you're uh. 19 years old. Please don't. Please don't. And please I told don't. him, I mean, his parents got married very, very young. Yeah. But they're also, I don't know if they're getting divorced. They're they're also in a very complicated yeah. situation. So I just told him, I was like, even if you want to propose to this girl make it a very long engagement yeah like there's no ru- there's no rush to marriage if you feel like you want to marry somebody unless you're trying to get like health insurance or i don't know if you think that's going to make them stay with you 
um, any more than it would if exactly. you were just engaged or that, then you're not doing it for the right reasons. No, and, and that's like having a baby to save a marriage. Yeah, you, you no, you, you know, and it's like it's the same thing with like my friend that haven't hasn't had sex in a long yeah. time. It's like you need to know yourself and sexually and what you like and what you want and start playing with yourself use some toys she's like oh i don't need that i said what do you yes use? you do i was like yeah no you need one everybody was everybody who's resisted having a vibrator like one of their friends forced it on them and they were thanked for it yeah but it's like with with marriage you know you want to um with being so young you kind of want to know yourself because you're going to change a lot in your 20s my god a like, lot who Even- i was at 19 years old as opposed to who i am at yeah 31 yeah it, um, it's completely different. Sorry, I was yeah. getting a phone call. Somebody yeah. wants me to refinance my student loans. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that, that's just a completely different situation. Um, I just, I mean, I'm 31 and I'm not even, yeah. I'm in a long-term relationship. I'm in love with my boyfriend yes. and we're not talking about marriage. No. And, it hasn't even been long enough. That's not on the table yeah. right now. Yeah. It might not ever be on the table yeah. and that's fine too. But you're in your 30s, you are yeah. more established. But I will say when I was 31, I mean, I was completely different than where I am now. Yeah. You know, I'm in my late 30s, so I I mean, you didn't even have kids yet. No, absolutely. I had yeah. kids in my mid 30s. Yeah, so I, was I mean, 34 I think, when I had my daughter. I think where I'm at in 31 is kind of where you were at 31. Yeah, you know, just kind, kind of, of like yeah. going from this wild single like trying to find somebody to finally like finding I found the one, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? he is my one and uh it's you know but but i just i just think that rushing into marriage even if you think you found the one i think when you're young you should just proceed with caution because you're both gonna grow and change so much and find out who you are so do it together but you might start to grow apart and and it's not the end of the world if you do no and it's okay and you know it's like marriage if you have to get divorced it happens you know it's not the fucking end of the world either but if you don't get married young you won't have to get divorced yeah well sometimes but uh which leads (laughs) us to we got some feedback oh tell me tell me um we had a couple of them. I, we might have to get to the next one in the next episode. Okay. Um, it was actually about somebody who was divorced mm-hmm. and trying to move on, but we're going to save that one for the next okay. episode. Okay. This one is a good one. I like this one because it's about uh, being single and getting into new relationships, and I think that oh, shit. you might be able to relate to this guy. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Some feelings. You ready? All right. Okay, here's some feedback. Anytime you want to email us, feedback at keepingcasualpodcast.com. Yes, please well, do. We want we want to share your stories. And if you want us to keep keep you anonymous, just say, please don't say my name. Yeah. Just Okay. But, but um, let us know what you listen to, listen on as well. And um, this is from Michaela. She lives in Portland. And um, she said she found us on Spotify. What up? And she went back to the first one. So I love it. I listen on Spotify. So yes. please uh, check us out. So she says, I love the podcast. You both seem very in tune with how to handle situations in your relationships. <laughs> and when you overreact, you both have a knack for laughing it off. Yeah, it takes days later for me to <laughs> laugh it off. But... Exactly. You would never laugh it off right away. So if you're like, why can't I just giggle about this right now? No, because it's, cause it's not. Honestly, it's I not think funny. the only time I've <laughs> laughed it off within the same day was that night I texted you and I was like, is the family asleep? And you yeah. called me immediately. And I was like, I am a mess. Yes. <laughs> and this is what I did. And, and I'm felt- not going to get into what I did. It was no. a very crazy thing. But we found ways to laugh about it yeah. and just to bring it full circle. And I think it's just relating and sharing. Yeah. Like, hey, girl, I've done this. It's not the same thing, but it's kind of the same. Yeah. And I'm still here. Exactly. Um. So it says, you both have a knack for laughing it off. I'm writing to you in need of some relationship advice. Okay. Yeah. My boyfriend and I have been dating for less than a year, and he's wonderful. He's a musician oh. and oh. makes his living Shit. playing gigs. Rockstar. Uh, his name is well known in our small area. So we're on the verge of moving in together, and I have never met a guy who makes me this happy. Aww. Yay. Um, the problem is he, he has this girl who's a big fan of him to the point where it makes me uncomfortable. Oh, <sighs> groupies. Oh, the bitches. Um, he doesn't use social me. media for much more than promoting his band gigs. She reposts every gig he has. And if he posts anything about his life, she makes sure to comment on it. You annoying little groupie. Um, (sighs) It looks desperate to me. I've told him it makes me uncomfortable, but he says not to worry about it. He told me he loves me and he agrees. It looks like an act of desperation. 
I want to ask him to delete and block her from social media. Is that asking too much? Yes. Um, thanks for your time. I'm excited to hear if this gets a response. So Aww. just know I did an iTunes review too. Ha <laughs> ha. Yay. <laughs> thanks, Michaela. Thank you. Um, Whoa. yeah, do not ask him to delete her. No. Don't, um, don't do it. Um, you're trying to control his social media. You can't. Um, if this is making you uncomfortable, maybe don't be friends with him on social media. Yeah. Um, here's what I'm going to say. Men are very matter of fact. <laughs> okay. My boyfriend he once told me, you're always invited to my gigs. My boyfriend's an entertainer as well. Okay. And, okay, cool. That's great. In my mind, I'm like, no, he'll invite me. And then he never invited me. And I got mad at him. And I was like, what? You don't want me there? And he was like, I told you you're always invited. Oh. Men are very matter of fact. Yes. He needs to put it verbally like, okay, you're invited to my show. So. Yeah. It, it was just one of those things. Um, It seems to me like this guy is... On the he, verge he, of blowing up. He's on the verge of blowing up. And, you know, sh- yes, groupies are going to happen. You're dating a musician. Uh, I'm sorry. I used to be a groupie. Yeah. I wasn't a desperate little whatever, but social yeah. media wasn't big when I was dating musicians. Yeah. Um, fuck, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I, I, I understand how you feel. Here's what I think you need to do. Uh, you can't control his social media, nope. but you can not control yours. Block her. Block her. Um, and, and if it really becomes too much for if if it's starting to make him uncomfortable uncomfortable tell him to say something well here's what i here's what i think um being that he's in a music he's a musician and he's trying to build a fan base he's trying he can't be like hey bitch step off i got a girlfriend is he gonna do that to all the girls what he can do is unfollow her so it mm-hmm. doesn't make it look like you can do that on instagram you can do that on facebook so yeah. you can unfollow them without unfriending them or blocking them and it makes you seem petty oh she doesn't care if you do it but That's... for him he needs to keep his social media his social open media to open. everybody. He needs to welcome everybody. I guess she didn't mention that. Does she notice him commenting on her stuff or anything? Oh, yeah. that's. I a- would I would assume that if she did, she would have mentioned it. So I'm going to assume like he probably ignores her on social media. Because yeah. it said he doesn't really, doesn't it say in there he doesn't really like social media and yes. he only uses it for promotion? Yeah, he's using it for promoting. So he's got some girl that's out there and she's like, she's on his dick and it's annoying you. This is your new man. You're protective, of course. But if you don't see him interacting with her and you just see her promoting or maybe she promotes something and he gives it a like um i mean that's cool he's just saying thank you to his fans but if it starts like hey thanks girl if there's a lot of flirty convo i mean you yeah. keep your eyes on that keep bitch on you that. know and then here's another thing if he all of a sudden doesn't want to take pictures with you mm-hmm. if he all of a sudden is hiding his phone if mm-hmm. he you know shit like that you need to look out for that um yeah. but you guys are moving in together it to me it sounds like He's not into her. You're not getting over it. Yeah. And I don't mean to sound harsh. No, but yeah, bring but it. I've been in a very similar situation. Yeah. And you know what it is? It's jealousy. It's somebody, you it know, is. you got a fine, sexy man and you don't want anybody else to. Don't look at him. Talk about <laughs> it. You know, you're like, yeah, we can all appreciate my man quietly. But when you have people on social media just kind of bopping around, they're going to want attention from him. So if he Maybe you can just be like, hey, the more attention you give this girl, the more she's going to do it. Yeah. But if you just want the conversation to go away, you need to protect yourself and your sanity and just block her and unfollow her from your own personal yeah, social do media. Do not look at her you won't see stuff. her. Yeah. If you start seeing her at his shows doing things to disrespect you, oh, then, it's then on. say something. Yeah, absolutely. But... If that's not happening, if she's just some little fangirl off to the side, not yeah. get, trying to get his dick, but not getting his dick, it's going to be okay. Yeah. I've always dated creative types. Mm-hmm. When I don't date creative types, I find them very boring. <laughs> it, it's true. I mean, it, 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 and Michaela, I understand dating creative men. It fucking sucks. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're putting a product out that's going to draw a lot of attention. It's going to. I mean, like I said, my boyfriend's an entertainer. He is honestly, <laughs> I would never date one of his kind again. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. It, it, I'm just going to throw that there right now. Um, mm-hmm. And when it came down to before I met him, I always said I would never date what line of work he does uh-huh. i would never date that type of person and yet here i am in love with him so, uh yeah well, anyway so i i i i know how you feel and yeah. i've been on both sides i've dated the musician i've been the groupie to the musician mm-hmm. 
but okay, we'll, we'll look at it like you this. You gotta take the jealousy out of it. Yeah, here if that's easier said than done, it, right? It is. It is so much easier but said than done. But block, that is control your social media. Control your social block media. her. If she shows yeah. up at events and she's pawing on your man, then you can punch her in the face. I mean, and you know what? <laughs> if she shows up at events and she keeps her distance, do not say a thing. To no, her. I mean just respect. She just respect. She's a fan. She's drawn in. I mean, you want you want your man's uh, project and, and music to grow. Yeah. You want him to be respected, it, and he has to respect his fans. Exactly. Exactly. And it seems like she's just a fan. Now, if this was somebody that like he was like, oh, yeah, I went on a few dates with her and we fooled around a few times. That brings it to a different level. Oh, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> well, I guess <laughs> and we that need... was the situation I was in. Oh, no. So that uh, controlling that jealousy. Trust me, it was very hard. That is a tough monster. And that is something that uh, to the point where my boy like this was right when my boyfriend and I first kind of became official mm -hmm. and I had said some snide comment to him about this chick mm -hmm. and he looked at me and he said I am not going to spend the rest of our lives feeling guilty for one mistake oh uh, yeah and I went fuck because that's when I was like oh he's over it I'm not uh-huh uh-huh yeah every everybody has a past you yeah. know some people are just gonna cling on forever and just want to support you and, and be there and be up your butt. But until yeah. she really physically in real life, like let's let's take let's take it back a minute. Social media is it's life, but it's not in real life. You know what I mean? What's happening in real life? Take um don't yeah. let social media destroy no, your relationship. Let. Look at look at what Gina does. Her and her husband have been together forever and they're not friends on yeah. social media because her husband is very jealous. Maybe that's something you need to take a step back from yeah my uh my man does not do social media i mean his job it doesn't call for doesn't it require it. mine really does you know i understand social yeah. media is important but i'm sure there's a lot of things on mine that like just people and random people that i i don't know a lot of people i mean being yeah. in radio we friend a lot of people and there might be people just commenting and liking on things and i'm like i have no idea but i don't have to get into that with my husband because yeah. he doesn't so I think you should uh, you should block this girl, and yep. if if things start bothering you with his social media, just unfollow him and trust him, and you'll be able to be friends with him. But you won't follow him, and he won't even know you unfollowed him. Yep. You'll just have to, and um, he'll just think you're the strongest, le most confident babe of all time. Exactly. And honestly, oh my God, I'm so sorry, but just. Don't let it take over your life. Do yeah. not let that jealousy take over because that will ruin your relationship. Yeah. And you guys are about to move in together. You're about to sign a lease together. That's right. That's 12 months. We got, there's your, there's your challenge. Yeah. That's 12 months. I mean, I, I'm assuming they're signing a year long lease. That's yeah. the cheaper, that's the cheapest way to get out of it. Yeah. You're signing a year long lease. Michaela, it's going to be okay. It's you just need to get out of your head. It's going to be good. If anybody has any feedback on this situation, please send it to us. Otherwise, we want to hear about your sex challenges. Get your sex challenges on. Yes. Do something. at keepingitcasualpodcast.com. That's right. Do something sexy for your partner that you haven't done before. And it's do, it, do something giving. All right? Stop laying there. Yeah, Bree's doing the blowjob <laughs> motions. But, uh... You can't see it, but <laughs> all right. I think that's it for today. All right. Until next time. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Girl, that was fun. Yeah, another fun conversation with you. Yes. If you have any feedback, email us feedback at keepingacasualpodcast.com. My Twitter is Bree Mixed, B-R-E-E-M-I-X-E-D. And I'm at MJ Radio Diva, any social platform. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Keeping It Casual Podcast. You get to see live videos. Videos, silly little photos of us. Mm -hmm. All the dumb photos that we talk about. Anything yes. photo-wise we talk about in the episode, it'll be there. We yeah. look forward to hearing from you. <laughs> we'll be back with more uh, gossip about nothing and everything. Bye. Bye.